What a crazy story we got for everybody today. 604-223-0763. You can text me. I can call you. If you don't want, don't have long distance going out. You got a mad story. Terrible, unbelievable, horrifying story today. Welcome, everybody. Speaking of craziness, here's a headline blast from the past. Researchers were too frightened to get closer than 100 kilometers from Fukushima nuclear meltdowns after seeing the radiation levels. They're quite shocked by the amount. Well, I was out researching for, of all things, that the nuclear proctologist would be doing, and I was looking for um, sewage facilities, radioactive numbers. It's a shitty job, but someone's got to do it. Atmospheric radio xenon isotopes monitoring in Beijing, China. Capital of China, I think, after Fukushima. Beijing, the capital. Can't remember. But uh, these are the people that done the study. They've never been challenged. And the numbers, wait for it. This will freak anybody out in their right mind. For xenon-133, I think that decays to... It's only got like a five-day half-life or something. It decays to iodine-133. Or morphs to it, whatever. Ranges from 393 to 26 megabequels. A mega backwall is a million backwalls. So 393 mega backwalls is 393 million backwalls a cubic meter, nine feet by nine feet of air, from the 12th to the 27th of April. Wow. And Xenon 131 were 84 to 40 million Beckwells. So 84 million to 40 million Beckwells on the 13th and 15th of April. So it was sustained. Wow. Just wow. So M Beckwell is the mega Beckwells. Just wow. So one mega backwall, one mega backwall is a million atomic decays per second. That is over the top stuff. That is the most catastrophic news conceivable. So now you can kind of see why China immediately put a moratorium on new um, power plants, and then. They got uh, all new generators, all new this, all new that for all their power plants. Not because of, per se, Fukushima, but because, or because they could have a meltdown, but because what they were seeing, but they couldn't tell the public. And so to quantify not telling the public, they beefed up, allegedly, the security of all the nuclear power plants. Now, this would... I got another one coming up. We'll explain why Germany said no to nuclear right away. But this would have been one of the catalysts for that. That's unbelievable numbers. 393 million. So when you're talking about xenon, which, by the way, burns a hole in your lung. When you're talking about xenon, it sequesters in your body. Uh, but these numbers are just absurd. So then you have to th figure out that uranium, plutonium, and curium, all their daughters. And so let me try to let me try to help everybody understand this. If you're not familiar with it, this is uh, beyond important. One of the most important videos. 
I've ever done is here right now. This is a, just a horrifying number. Kind of like having 15 people on a live stream right now with 23,000 subscribers. Shows you the censorship, right? Desperation. There it is. So 133 uh, in the center over there. All the other daughters also have to be worried about would have been in the samples. But they, they only reported on the Xenon 133. And that doesn't negate the rest of them. Curium is the biggest byproduct of the radiative fuel rods, not Xenon. And Curium is like plutonium. All their daughters, all the iodine daughters, not just the Xenon, all the krypton daughters, uranium and their daughters, plutonium, americium, neptunium, strontiums, cesiums, and strontiums, and all these other acronyms you see up there, all of their daughters would have been in the same sample. That is horrifying. You can't have one without all the others. Even though they want you to believe that, this is what makes the industry absolutely insidious. It's a direct threat to all life. It's a 100% threat. It's a direct threat to all life everywhere. This is ridiculous. It's absurd. Iodine-131, March 28, 2011, was observed at all 12 monitoring stations in Korea. So Korea, the highest activity concentrations were 3,120,000 becquels a cubic meter for iodine-131. So that meant all the strontiums and their daughters all the cesium and their daughters, etc., right? And americiums, all the plutonium, their daughters, uraniums, all the krypton, their daughters, the xenon also had to be there. He couldn't have just been all the iodines and their daughters. So when you hear iodine 131 at the beginning, over there, 10 times more iodine 132 would have been in the same sample, 30 times more iodine 133, 31 times more iodine 129. Curium is the biggest byproduct of the radiated fuel rods. I cried last night when I seen that. I was inconsolable. I couldn't even sleep till early this morning. I got a couple hours. I don't know if you want to call it sleep, but nightmares. It's my, this is my worst fear. These two studies I'm showing you this morning are I'm, I'm, uh, my heart is broken now that this could happen. That the industry, the vicious nuclear industry, has assaulted everybody trying to have a conversation. 3.12 megabecquels per cubic meter. 3,120,000 becquels is just the iodine-131. Uh, and another spot was one point is one million one hundred nineteen thousand becquels per cubic meter. At another site was one million two hundred fifty thousand becquels per cubic meter. Wow! Just wow. It explains why they actually did close the schools in Korea. It didn't tell you the real number. I just showed it to you for the first time. And nobody's ever seen these numbers before. It's the first time you've seen these studies. I'm the first person to ever bring them publicly to you. And the numbers are just absurd. These are absurd numbers we're talking about. And they don't include all the radionuclides. And then there's no one out there bashing them. And I want to hold them accountable. I want to. I don't have the resources the IAEA has. There is no 
counter to the IAEA. There is no checks and balances. Greenpeace has stabbed us all in the back. Now we know why we see the death of the Pacific and Atlantic. It's just, it's absurd. This is absurd. It's absurd numbers. This is catastrophic numbers. Please give us a thumbs up. I notice I'm not going to get, I turned off uh, advertisement on my channel. They're using that to censor me now. I don't have to assume that, so I can't take a chance. We need to reach the population. They're completely out of control. Here's the IAEA. Nuclear industry creates opportunity for attracting women. Think about how disgusting that statement actually is. Why did you wait till now? Why did you wait 75 fucking years for it? Changing the narrative can help attract and retain qualified women as science. In the nuclear industry in particular, participants heard today at a panel discussion at the IAEA 63rd General Conference that should never exist. Governments, the IAEA answer. International Atomic Energy Agency's answer to protecting children in Fukushima was to wear long sleeve shirts while at school. Did you see the IAEA come out and criticize the government for making that statement? No, because the government went to the IAEA. That's what they told them the statement to make. 200 kilometers from Fukushima, it's point twenty-five uh, microsieverts. Parts of the school playgrounds are declared off limits. So you can't have parts of the school playground declared off limits without the playground and the school and the community off limits. You get how insidious this disgusting monster, can't call it an industry, it's a demonic cult. 75% of the Fukushima's 300,000 children are going to school so contaminated there would be radiation control areas and nuclear power plants. Do you, do you understand that? I'm just heartbroken. I'm horrified today. Right, so you're trying to use these narratives as desperation. And this is what I mean. They hired the stupidest people they could find. According to a coursework study, according. According to a study, there are methods to properly dispose of nuclear waste such as reprocessing, transmutation, space disposal. <laughs> no, I'm not making it up. And geological disposal. This is the director of the Nuclear Institute of the Philippines, folks. Reprocessing as a method includes taking the waste away from the material and separating useful components. Everything becomes serrated. You can't separate it. When you put it in proximity to nuclear, it becomes radiated. Transmutation is the process of converting a chemical element into another less harmful one. You can't make an isotope by using chemicals or acid or by incinerating it or any other You can't negate it. You can't diminish its attributes. You're filthy. You're just filthy lawyers. And then when you look at space disposal, focus on putting nuclear waste on a space shuttle. <laughs> this is do that. The space shuttle stopped running years ago, and launching it into space. <laughs> So when you look, right, and you read the first paragraph, you go like, oh, that's pretty cool. They can ship it to space, as if that's somehow in a solution. And then you find out that this is just an idiot. The Philippines Nuclear Research Institute director is an actual fucking idiot, a real-life idiot, a dangerous one. It's a nuke-tark crank. 
However, this might not be a viable option as it poses a problem. So why did you mention it? You despicable, disgusting, maniacal. According to coursework studies, there are methods to dispose of it, yet none of them are actually can dispose of. You can't dispose of nuclear, see? It just shows you that the nuclear industry infiltrates these countries, hires the most idiotic, moronic dipsticks they could find, and allows them to say whatever they feel like it. Select an isolated island, put the waste there, and put a material called benonite. Literally the stupidest thing I've ever, or anybody has ever heard. He added that sourcing for uranium won't, shouldn't be a problem, as importing the material is easier than coal. Importing uranium is not easier than coal. Every word out of their mouth is actually stupid. But anybody don't know any better thinks it's easier than coal. For uranium, you have Kazakhstan, Australia, Canada, U.S., the IAEA, actually, International Atomic Agency, actually put up a fuel repository in Kazakhstan to make sure that people, that there could be no cartels when it comes to nuclear fuel, he, he explains. Now, they put it up in Kazakhstan, right? It's because the stocks hit bottom and he bought it up and stored it there. It is high time we put the framework in place to bring nuclear power into the energy mix. We should learn the lessons from the past, yeah? And catch up with the missed opportunities. Quote, he was, this was quoted on the International Atomic Energy Agency's website that you can shoot it into space. Many argued that the Philippines still lack of uh, well-defined policies regarding import and export controls, emergency preparedness and responses. You gotta evacuate your communities, what they mean by that. They don't have the infrastructures. Dan says, impossible to reduce carbon emissions without nuclear energy here in Canada. I remind, dipstick that there's 4 million becquels a square meter of cesium in the soil samples from a school in Chiba, right alongside of Tokyo, where the Olympics, idiot, moronic Olympics are going to be. And then they did, look, they go becquels and then they go unisievers in the next. You can't have a conversation with anybody in the nuclear industry. They're, they're literally all brain dead. They're all goblins. They're all just hateful, demented savages. Impossible to reduce carbon emissions, says Dan Bruletti. And then you invoke these pictures here. You need perfect conditions to see the emissions. They're piping the fuel pools up these stacks also. The fuel pools are full of reactor cores. The reactor cores are fuel rods, and the fuel rods are full of millions, each of them, millions and millions of microscopic cracks that are releasing uranium, curium, plutonium, and americium into the water. The water is at absurd numbers of radiation that's boiled off naturally because of the heat in the pools and is released up these stacks too. That's why you see so much cancer and leukemias and illnesses and diseases and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries within a certain distance of these places. Six times more breast cancer is just one of the many demented statistics from being within 15 miles of a nuclear power plant to 50. A national energy strategy to reduce carbon dioxide emission. So this carbon dioxide is about France, right? The, the Paris Protocol. France, of course, is uh, boils 70% of their fresh water. France is a government entity. Their nuclear power is all government. And France beats the fuck out of their citizens every couple of weeks with riot police. Every couple of weeks, they're, they're destroying somebody's lives and communities. The whole industry is out of control. 
we like we we are in desperate times. We just lost the Pacific Ocean. We're losing the Atlantic. We got supercell storms. None of these infrastructures can withstand it. Because of Fukushima, a national energy strategy determined uh, Deputy Secretary of Energy Dan Brulletti offered his analysts in a Tuesday interview on Cyrus Breebert, Andrew Breebert, who's been dead for a long time. He had a good following. The monster industry took it over, and now they propagate out nothing but the propaganda machine. It's unbelievable how hideous this industry actually is. A million beck was a kilogram of cesium at a Fukushima school after being decontaminated. It's obvious they'll just leave it. So you should evacuate all the children, not decontaminate the school. You can't decontaminate a school. And then you got a university research team collects lynching, the gymnasium. In a choosy interview on Sawyer's Breebart Daily News, those opposing the use of nuclear energy and neglecting to highlight its value within a national energy policy, policy cannot be serious or sincere in their stated concerns. Well, those who don't include the actual effects of Fukushima, the most important topic in human history, and I got 35 people on my stream. Where we, we've got the most amazing equipment to do these shows so they can be flawless. We've worked so hard to do all of this, worked so hard to get to this stage. We put our hearts and our souls into this for so many years because it's to, it has to be done. There's no joy in anything I do. Sunny sadness for every day for me. I read this stuff all day, all night, every moment, because that, that has to be done and there's no one to do it. If I don't do it, how do I look in the mirror? How do I sleep? How do I function if I don't do the moral and ethical thing? How can this planet move forward if I don't run myself into the ground all day, every day? desperation and then all they do is censor me sanders campaigns call for an end to the use of nuclear power deriding it as a false solution bernie sanders the green new deal will stop the building of new nuclear plants find a real solution to our existing nuclear waste problem how is that bad will also enact a moratorium on nuclear power plant license renewals well, their license, they were never supposed to be renewed licenses because of the Wagner effect, right? Their original charter is 30 years. And corporations in increments over decades changed their designations and gave them what they call a corporate personhood, parts of human rights. We know that the toxic waste byproduct of nuclear plants are not worth the risk of the technology's benefit. There is no benefit. Zero benefit nuclear. It's bad points. There's so many and so dangerous and so vicious and, and lasts for so long. They wipe out all species and pretend that they have some kind of benefit. Especially in light of lessons learned from the Fukushima meltdown in Chernobyl, to get to our goal of 100% sustainable energy have to replace the nuclear industry. You have to hold them accountable. We will not rely on false solutions like nuclear, geoengineering, carbon capture, and sequestering for trash incinerators. Well said, Bernie. Thank you. Nuclear is climate change. All the nuclear, there was over a thousand nuclear tests in America alone. And this radiation went worldwide. It pulses every second. It lasts forever. It's pulsing every second. It's releasing energy. It's heating up the plant. Carbon is inert, and it's good for plants and humans and every other species. Carbon doesn't pulse every second and heat up the planet. Saying carbon heats up the planet is like saying a rock is the sun. It's literally the stupidest thing. But if everybody screams it in the public relation firms, and all you have is public relation firms, a lot of people 
will just tune out or buy into it. No one's really buying into it. It's just everything you're hearing is public relation firms. They don't even buy into it. They get paid to say it. We're not going to build any nuclear power plants and we're going to stop weaning ourselves off the energy, the nuclear charred energy, and replace it with anything renewable we can figure out. See, if you tried to come up with a solution, you could, but we're not, we're not trying to come up with a solution. We're trying to reuse nuclear for everything. You got a broken tire, you should put a fuel rod on it. No matter what the issue, nuclear, this is what climate scientists are, right? Their, their job is no matter what the problem is, nuclear is the solution. That's what a climate scientist's job is. They were created specifically to do that one thing. And they found the useful idiots who are incapable of, of comprehending what I just said, incapable of even fact-checking what I just said. They are Kool-Aid drinkers, the hook, line, and sinker. They're what they call the useful idiots. I call them dangerous idiots. If you care about the environment, if you care about carbon emission, you must support nuclear energy or else you'll be never be able to meet the goals established by some of the European countries. Tokyo official blast parents who want kids to avoid ingesting radioactivity at school. It's important to share the pain. What do you mean pain? I thought it was like a banana. Do you get how ludicrous that headline is? But the media has zero problems writing that. Zero problems supporting the nuke charity industry. France and Germany and others signed into the Paris Accord. France is the Paris Accord. Fr Paris Accord is nuclear. France is all fucking nuclear. What do you expect them to call it? They needed to prop up their industry, so they called it the Paris Accord. Everybody all of a sudden now is bounded to the retards that is France. France can't they even fucking take care of its own country. 70% of its water, fresh water, is boiled in nuclear reactors. They can't even have farms there. It's literally the stupidest country on our planet. Freebart News and Cyrus. John Lennon's son unloads on disturbing murder photos. Well, his wife wore a, that's him in the middle, with her son. John's, John Lennon's son, I had to translate this to English, so some of the grammars will be tough, which is fine. Has responded to terrible haters sending him photos of his father's murderer in a new social media post. Koreans now have attacked him. He said, it is clear that many of the hundreds of Koreans sending me violent threats, calling me a Nazi, telling me they are glad about the Fukushima disaster. Like, if you don't like somebody from Japan, you can't invoke Fukushima disaster. That's, this is childish. Sounds like nuclear scientists down there were freaking out. Insulting my mother for being Japanese and sending me photos of the man who murdered his father that they never actually read the original comment he posted defending his girlfriend for having worn a Clash t-shirt featuring a Japanese rising sun pattern. At the time, neither of them had ever heard that in Korea, this flag has since the early 2000s become taboo. He wasn't aware, and but because his wife had worn a T-shirt that pissed off Koreans, they were glad Fukushima happened. They sent him pictures of the guy who murdered his father to traumatize him. Scientists look at nuclear fallout freed by melting glaciers. When you hear the word scientist, think, always say useful idiot, uh, soon to be monster or ex monster or new monster. Just monster. Think of them as monsters. There is no fucking glaciers. I went out and done the whole coastline of Canada. There's no glaciers. They're gone. Nobody's reported on it. There's some. Snow melt, there's little spots of glaciers left, but they're probably gone by now. This is not glaciers, look. There's snow at the top of a hill. There is no glaciers. 
Nuclear fallout from above ground atom bomb tests in 1950s and 60s have been stored in glaciers and rapid glacier melt means the ground at the snow of the glaciers is becoming contaminated. So he's blaming that in the 1950s. You see how, see how the cover story works? But China seen incredible 393 million becquels a cubic meter in the year. Canada, where he's talking about, seen 20 million iodine-131 per liter of rainwater, for instance. You get how this works? So this, the word scientist now is an insult. Anybody calls them scientists, right, or somebody that hates your guts, that's all we can take away from this. A scientist is not somebody... I would, if I was a scientist, I would never say it out loud. Nuclear fallout from above ground, I'm a researcher. I'm a nuclear expert and a forensic investigative journalist, which means I have to spend hours and hours and hours and hours just to verify each fact make sure that they're not lying to us, which, of course, they're lying to us. So they blame nuclear above ground. Notice how to use the words above ground because they've done a fucking lot of underground that poisoned our water tables, folks. Stored in glaciers and rapid glacier melt means to ground. This person is a monster who's done this study. First study of its kind on a North American glacier. As a result of new research at University of Northern British Columbia, where we have no glaciers left. I've done the whole coastline of British Columbia over and over and over and over. You can look at the documentation as a nuclear proctologist. We lost all the species and the glaciers on top of that. And the whole coastline of Canada is gone. Radioactive particles from bomb, the early bombs settled onto the area's mountains after they were widely dispersed in the stratosphere. The levels, however, surprised him. It's pretty extreme, way more than we would expect to find. The only place in the world we could have seen higher is places like Chernobyl. Here's Chernobyl. And then Fukushima. There's the SL1. There's the sodium reactor that melted at Savannah site. There's Hanford. There's um, New Mexico Waste Repository when they had that meltdown. They were sneaking in all high-level radiation. So McBride's, I went out and done the whole coast of Canada, the Rocky Mountain Ranges. They're all naked. They're gone. No one's reported on it. And he's the first person to even try to report on glacier melts. I uh, think again, folks. Do Owen, a.k.a. useful idiot, documented his findings. Bullshit nonsense, folks. Extreme levels of fallout radionuclides are real, but he's going to downplay the shit out of it. There's no reason to panic, but it's a warning, he says. It isn't dangerous to walk around the glaciers, but you wouldn't want to ingest the sediment. Because if you breathe in a single atom, it'll catch up with you decades down the road, so it's dangerous. Chernobyl, for example, is contaminated for hundreds of square kilometers. Go look up my Chernobyl's presentations. I've done this in the last month. There's two of them in particular where I cover 700 studies showing Chernobyl. Like Chernobyl, when he says hundreds of square kilometers, they actually closed 9,000 farms in Ireland, Scotland, and the UK. You can't eat the fresh fish from Switzerland. You can't eat the reindeer from Latvia. You can't drink the milk from the rest of the Soviet Union safely. It contaminated the Baltic Seas, the Black Seas. So 34 kilometers from McBride's, by then it'll have to really, it, it will have really diluted. It's not a concern for human. Like, you can't dilute radiation per se by the conventional words of dilution, which makes it uh, innocuous. You can't do that with radiation. A single atom can give you cancer down the road or many other diseases. 
Dr. Philip Owens, this useful idiot, disgusting parasite for the nuke tart industry. Just in time for the annual appearance of cherry blossoms, 52 head of states will come to Washington to discuss uh, nuclear security. Like, no one's going to go to a nuclear power plant and steal nuclear fuel rods because it's a lethal dose. It's like looking at Medusa. It's a real-life Medusa. You can't steal Medusa per se. This media was disgusting, by the way. Thanks to the nuke turts, which was previously relegated to small groups of mainly Western bureaucrat, bureaucrat heads and nuclear nerds. Nuclear nerds. Protecting nuclear material is critical. No, because they'll spend a billion dollars on each nuclear power plant on security to keep you away with your Geiger counters, to keep you away so you don't see what they're fucking doing there. They're releasing it into the environment. Hydrogen combustion is a flat, semi-confined layer with respect to the Fukushima Daiichi accident. Hydrogen accumulation at the top of the containment or reactor may, building may occur due to the interaction of molten curium and water, followed by a severe accident of a nuclear reactor like Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, Fukushima Daiichi. So molten curium, right? What do you mean by that? Is because that's what you call a reactor core when it melts, curium, because it's mostly curium isotopes on top of that, see? But what they're alluding to is that the hydrogen explosion, they told you that only destroyed the top of the buildings. That's what all the media kept telling you. The reason hydrogen occurs is because the reactor had melted down and come in contact with water, and that was what caused the hydrogen buildup and the detonation. It shows you unequivocally how dangerous and how uncaring this industry is. It's an industry of nothing but revolting scavengers. This was a picture from another study that showed bombs from different countries. You can see the colors up in the top corner. USA is like a reddish. USSR was orange, which would be orange there and red over there, right? Nevada is red. See that different? China and France. It shows you the megatons, 1955 to 1980. They've done testing all the way to 92. They're still doing it. There's no future with nuclear for any species. Japan will build a wall of ice to stem the Fukushima leak. Remember that? There was a study shows $320 million, and it uses enough power each day to run 3,300 Japanese households. To build a nice wall, but what they needed was a real wall. But they didn't build a real wall because the shareholders from TEPCO would have had to pay for a real wall, an experimental wall. The taxpayer paid for it forever. And it costs around $9 million a year to maintain a lethal ice wall. That doesn't work in the first place because there's no bottom to it. It's a fable to shut you up. It was a fable. They allegedly 260,000 people worked on that ice wall, which worked out to a little over 1,000 people each, $1,000 for each person if you didn't buy any ice wall. Fader radio cesium in sewage treatment process released by a nuclear accident. <laughs> this is some of the stuff I was looking for originally. Like when I came across China, I first the Beijing study I showed earlier, over 300 million becquels a square cubic meter. That fucking shocked me. Then I came across the Koreans. I literally paced back and forth here in my house, and I don't use heat in my house. I dress up warm and I use blankets. Just I do everything I can, try not to use energy. which is stupid for someone like me because I have so much equipment, I got to keep heat to it because you can't have condensation on this kind of equipment and you'll degrade it and freak it up. But I'm going to go today and buy a heater, uh, one of those little small radiant heaters. They don't make no noises. And you can turn them really low and they'll maintain, they'll keep the temperature, the water or moisture from my equipment. 
I can't have my equipment breaking down on me. So burnt out from doing everything I can do in desperation. And all I, the more I try, the more I show, the more I'm able to show, unfortunately, the industry is it's a genocidal, ecocidal. They're kamikazes. The people in the nuclear industry can only be described as kamikazes type personalities. They're incapable of functioning in any other environment, only being sadistics, sadistic monsters. That's the only environment that they, they're capable of, where there's no checks and balances. We're the only really checks and balances by providing the information. It's never been done before. Nobody's ever challenged the industry. And in my personality, I'm a very humble person, a very normal person, a very caring person, whether people can understand it or appreciate it. I really do care, see? It's not a flaw. It's unique. And so are you. And a small amount of cesium will be released to the air by the sludge incineration. So they're claiming now that the radiation won't be re released if you incinerate the radioactive sewage, the excrements that people are excreting high levels of radiation. And so it's so they do this to quantify using incinerators to reliberate. But what all you really do is reliberate it into the environment. Radioactive followed cesium in sewage sludge. So what they're claiming is that the sewage is not radioactive from people, but it's radioactive because of folly washing into the sewage pipelines. I, I come across study after study after study after study uh, trying to frame that narrative. The industry is nuts. And they make these people here, they made a fortune producing a study to manipulate the narrative. This, the whole industry is full of these types of weirdos that produce these studies because they know they have to cover it up. They know they have to muddle it to water anyway. Five samples produced 2011-2012 tests and two of the samples contain cesium-23 and 9.6 kilobecquels a kilogram uh, is 1,000 becquels. So 26,000 becquels a kilogram, say, for instance, to 9,000 9, 9, becquels a kilogram for your excrement. And so what they do is they try to pretend that that's from radioactive fallout, not from people actually right, excreting it. They're, they're claiming that was added after, as it's on its way to the sewage treatment plants from fallout finding its way in that people weren't irradiated. It's not radiation from people. So they're completely out of control. This is how vicious the industry actually is. Implications for effective food risk communications. Once again, implications for effective food risk communications. This is a really disturbing study. It's not going to be... Uh, Implication for effective food risks for consumers. A high number of consumers, 77%, actually avoided purchasing purchasing Japanese food because they perceived that there was a potential radiological risk. They perceived it? You mean there wasn't? This is what the study is saying, there wasn't. The consumer's level of knowledge about radioactivity, environmental radiation, and health effects were relatively low. So... Rather than educate them, they found a way now to, to, to fuck them over. Particularly the safe dosage limits for radiation, natural radioactive decay, natural. A number of the respondents, 56%, were seldom or never confident in the government's handling of food safety. Among the existing information sources, mass media, 36.9% were considered to be the most credible, which is Literally the stupidest, scariest statement I've ever heard. Followed by consumer organizations, 26%, which are all public relation firms. Government institutions, 
which are just mongrels, and food safety experts, 7.7%, which are people like uh, Craig Durr from Forbidden TV, right? Like actual lunatics, real-life lunatics. Subjects require a variety of information on food safety issues related to radioactive contamination, but their actual search behaviors were highly passive. In other words, they didn't know what they were fucking doing. They didn't even try. Women and consumers with high involvement in food purchasing tended to be more sensitive about the potential risk of food produced in those areas affected, affected by the nuclear accident. This wasn't affected. This was unbelievable coatings of all resources across the country. In relation to general knowledge, women and the elderly and those with low educational attainment tended to have low awareness of radioactivity, environmental radiation, and the health effects. So in other words, this is definitive proof of how predatory the industry and the academics are. An academic is someone you should fear. Is is a real life monster. Their job is to be a monster. So development of an effective tool for risk communication. Successful risk communication for food safety is limited. Systematic framework was adopted to develop and optimize RC tools for consumer educational books, but evidential data and visual aids was selected. Theme of book was frequently asked questions and answers for two-way communications. Tool effective improved consumers' knowledge to relieve their anxieties. This is another picture I pulled from another study talking about how the radiation up in the upper tropospheres. I think this was Germany. Yeah, this was Germany. Was this, that one picture, I think, was a separate study about Germany. Detection of 133 xenon from the Fukushima nuclear power plant in the upper troposphere above Germany. That's the last one we're going to do here. Uh, no, there's one more after that. Global and local cancer risks after Fukushima nuclear power plant. Global, what, right? So they need to downplay it, but they acknowledged it, see, by saying the word global. And by using the word cancer, instead of the 1,800 diseases that will show up before cancer, which is what you see happening constantly, it's just further proof that they are going to war against you and 8 million species. After I read all of this last night, I was just heartbroken. And I noticed this morning that I'm just different today. My life has changed today forever. Because of this, what I'm doing here today. The stuff I'm showing you today has now changed me dramatically. I hope at some point I come around, but if you think I hated nuclear before, you've got no fucking idea of how much rage I have for this industry now. Cancer risk after the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Nuclear death machine. Significantly lower risks are expected from Fukushima than from Chernobyl, right? Their studies are always about making Chernobyl look worse. Women are more sensitive to radiation than men. This is true in the animal world, in the mammal world, and in the birds and the insects. Higher risks are expected for female infants, lower ones for 10-year-olds. You can't have lower risk when it comes to radiation. You, we're not, people don't, we have zero tolerance for man-made radiation. Our bodies attack it relentlessly, immediately, permanently with white blood cells, meaning you have a permanent lack of oxygen for the rest of your life in your body and less nutrition in your body, less red blood cells, in other words. So there's an instant, very, noticeable, very easily to prove, very definable effect. It's true in all species. The projected cancer incidences are much lower than the casualties occurred from the earthquake. 
And today's story is the last story. Former TEPCO, TEPCO executives found not guilty of criminal negligence in Fukushima nuclear disaster. They were, they were never going to be found guilty. It was a distraction. Three former top executives of Tokyo Electric Power Companies Thursday were acquitted of professional criminal negligence resulting in death and injury related to the Fukushima nuclear crisis. The Tokyo District Court ruled it was not realistic for the former executives to have predicted all possible tsunami scenarios. Well, Japan actually has, under whole coastline, rocks very high up, several hundred feet up, do not build below this point. Because for thousands of years that they've been there, they have been wiped out by tsunamis. There's no way they could know it. All the shareholders are sent into Fukushima Reactor 3 to perish with the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. And contaminated wide areas of the prefecture. China won't eat the food from all 14 prefectures. And like, once again, Chernobyl, contaminated Ireland, Scotland, UK, 3,000 miles away, where they closed 9,000 farms. And it was much, Fukushima was way more worse. It's disgusting. And this, of course, is the Japan Times. And then what was the penalty they were seeking? Five years? For people in their fucking 80 years old? The nuclear industry, the nuclear university should be on trial. The nuclear professors that train nuclear scientists should be charged with war crimes and crimes against humanity. They will be in the near future. More than 10,000 evacuees file about 30 civil lawsuits in total, which is nothing. He destroyed community after community after community. He destroyed the whole planet. He also criticized the course the rationale that nuclear power companies not required to ensure complete safety. Shit hits at Japan times. And there's the last story, kinda. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight years on Fukushima hopes rugby rugby can clean up its image. Thirty million one ton bags. Tainted utility, TEPCO, tainted, tainted. Think about these words to use. Car park for nuclear cleanup is now the World Cup training ground. It's not a betrayal. It's savages. They're savages. And then they show you pictures, they show you reactor two. Little tiny bit of reactor one, little tiny bit of reactor three that are destroyed. All of these reactors are destroyed. The whole industry is nothing but disgusting. And it's prompting Japan to shut down its entire fleet of nuclear reactors because they knew what they'd done to China, like I showed you earlier. They knew what they'd done to Korea, like I showed you earlier. They knew what they'd done to Germany, what I showed you just now. Germany was, this is why Germany said no to nuclear. They had every right. And you seen those numbers? Merkel, who had a degree in nuclear, she understood the significance of it. Nuclear hates you. Nuclear is attempting to slaughter all species on this planet. Just heartbroken. I'm going to go find a restaurant, get some breakfast, cup of tea. Apologize for not being upbeat today. I'm not depressed, I'm heartbroken. There's a difference, okay? At the sinistry, and is so willing to destroy everything just to pretend for a little tiny bit longer that they're not monsters, that they're, so their children won't hate them. This is all about having the worst people possible working in the industry 
and then no one to hold them accountable. The, the IAEA has to go. There is no middle ground. It, it is a direct threat to all 8 million species. The IAEA has distinguished itself as an enemy of all 8 million species. IAEA is scum, and we will never, ever, ever let them get away with this. Our job is to hold them accountable. China has been ruined. Don't be eating anything from China. Don't eat anything from Korea. I love Chinese and Koreans and the Japanese, but don't eat your food. Don't poison your loved ones. Hugs for everybody. God bless everybody. Take care.